On behalf of Overseer Vanessa Everett, we'd like to remind everyone that DJICC is standing on Psalm 91. We recommend that everyone follow the governmental orders to practice. Wash your hands. Only venture out when absolutely necessary. We are concerned about our elderly members, and although worship services have moved to a digital platform, we are determined to get the gospel to them via Zoom, Facebook, and email announcements. Although the church doors are closed temporarily, we invite you to support the ministry with your tithes and offering via text to give at 551-258-8547 or online at djicc.org. Click give. God bless and keep you safe and healthy. For worship on this morning. When I tell you, God is so awesome to us. <laughs> I heard somebody say, if you woke up and you're reading this, he's been good to you. I'll say, if you woke up and you're looking at this, good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. God bless you. Grace and peace be unto you from God, our Father. Oh, we bless him for being our Father. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. God, we bless you, Jesus for being our Father. God, we thank you. It is so awesome to see you all this morning, virtually, in the house of the Lord. I tell you, I'm so glad about what God is doing. Even in this, I tell you, God is good. No, we're not in our church, even though some have suggested we be in the church building. We bless God that we are in church still, amen? I can't touch you, you can't touch me physically, but spiritually we can. And it's a great thing to be in the house of the Lord. Well, we're going to get started with our worship on this morning. Today is our youth and young adult worship service. And I am so glad that you guys have decided to be here with us on today. Um, it's not often that people take time to go to church. But it seems like since we've been in this situation, everybody's been in church. We're not going nowhere else. We sure going to be in church. And we thank God for being in the house of the Lord. Well, this morning, we bring you greetings from Deliverance Jesus is Coming in Irvington, New Jersey, where our pastor is the mighty woman of God, Overseer Vanessa Everett. And we give God praise for Overseer Vanessa Everett. We bless God because she is carrying on the work of the Lord. And this youth and young adult service is a part of her passion and our beloved, our belated Bishop's Passion, and we are continuing on with what the Lord has assigned us to do. And we thank you for being here with us. So Father, we thank you whew, because you are so good. You are so mighty. You are so awesome. You are so powerful. God, we bless your name because you are sovereign. And even in this pandemic, you are still on the throne. And we thank you because you have it all in control. We bless your name for today's service. We ask you, Father, to shine your presence down on us. Open the windows of heaven. Pour us out a blessing. We won't have room enough to receive. And fill us, oh God, with your presence in the name of Jesus. Bless this service from beginning to end. We thank you for our guest preacher, Master H3. We thank you for every participant in this service. God, be with us, we pray. We by the hand of the enemy. He's a liar. He's defeated. He has no power. In Jesus' name we say, amen. Hallelujah, bless the Lord. And today, my scripture is one of my favorites. And it is simple as this. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. When I tell you that is one of my favorites because it's something that's a part of who I am. When you worship and praise the Lord all the time in everything, it's nothing like it. And with what we got going on now, we definitely need to praise the Lord. Well, at this time, we have something special on our program this morning. And it's a little different service because it's youth and young adult worship, amen? So we wanna highlight some of our young people on today. And uh, we have some special news for you today. So sit back, relax, enjoy, and watch.
story, I'm Avery Wilbot coming to you live with breaking news out of Irvington, New Jersey. Deliverance Jesus is Coming Church Youth and Young Adult Departments are honoring their class of 2020 graduates. <laughs> Starting with our preschool graduates. Idell Page HPC Daycare. Elijah and Isaiah Dawson, the leaders. Next, our kindergarten graduates. My boys! Melvin <laughs> Robertson, Valesburg Elementary. Osa Edwards, Kip Upper Roseville Academy. And you're truly me, Avery Wimblett, the great car school. What in the world? Stepping out of middle school and into high school. Soraya Clemens, Maplewood Middle, Candy Robertson, Billsburg Middle, Asiana, <laughs> Asiana Jacobs, Avon Academy, Jordan Givens, Walter O. Columbia Middle. Last but definitely not least, at least our high school and college graduates. Larry Lofton Jr., Cicely Tyson, Reforming Arts High School. Tara White, Essex County Junior College. A big shout out goes to all of DJICC 20 graduates. Our future is bright, I gotta wear <laughs> Shades. Thank you for tuning in to TJICC News. Now back to the scheduled program. Why well, you're not quite clapping? Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. How awesome was that? That we have a five-year-old giving us the news straight out of Irvington, New Jersey from the DJICC Church. Well, it gets even better. Uh, we have the speaker of the hour. And this young man is coming to give us a great word. It's not his first time with us. It's just his first time virtually with us. But our master Hilton Ross III will be coming with a word from the Lord. And his father, Pastor Hilton Ross Jr. will be with him because he's going to do me a little bit of favor. One of my favorite songs that he sings He's going to give us a little tidbit of that. And then right from him is his son. So get ready to have a time in the Lord in this next part of our worship. Won't you enjoy the Rawls family with us? Oh, blessings and glory and honor. They all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless me. Oh, I just want to praise you forever and ever. Can you see? And ever. Oh, you've done it for me. Ah, blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing me. Ah, just want to praise you. We hear you. There you go. Forever. And ever, and ever, 
just one more time. Oh, done for me. Oh, blessings and glory and honor, they all belong to you. Thank you, Jesus. Let's take a more time. For oh, blessing me. Sister Everett, Sister Valerie Wilson, and Sister Joanne for the invitation. Let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your grace and mercy. We thank you for protection, God. I pray, God, that your power will be on us, God. I pray, God, that the sermon will be irresistible and make the anointing greater than the time before. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Never glad I said amen, amen and amen. amen. Let's go to the book of Chronicles, 2 Chronicles 16, verse nine. You have it say amen. Amen. And it says, the eyes of the Lord search the whole earth to strengthen those who are fully committed to him. Can I say that one more time? The eyes of the Lord search the whole earth to strengthen those who are fully committed to him. My subject this morning is the search for fat people. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Let's pray. Father, it is the entrance of your word that bringeth light to life. And now we pray that the glorious light and the gospel of Jesus Christ, which shines bright as always, give us the anointing that makes preaching easy, make the sermon irresistible. And the anointing greater than the time before. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And every glad heart said amen, amen and amen. Amen. God bless you this morning. You may not be aware, but the Lord is on a search. He's got some kingdom vacancies to fill. And the Lord is very specific about who he needs to fill these positions. We know that many are called, but only a few are chosen. God is making selection. God is choosing. God is handpicking a certain kind of people for his service. Now, before you call me disrespectful and stop liking me on Facebook, let me be clear. I'm not talking about that kind of fact. The Bible says man looks on the outer appearance, but God looks at the heart. Jeremiah 17 verse 10 says God searches the heart and examines the mind. So let me explain what I mean when I say F-A-T. Let's break it down for you. F is for faithful. God is looking for faithful people. He's got the search because it's rare today. Even in the church, the Bible says in Luke, when Christ returns, shall he find faith in the earth. But saints, God blesses us when we abide in him. 
John 15 says, if you abide in me, in my word, abide in you. You can ask whatever you want, and it shall be done. It said, and it shall be done. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. So the devil tries to keep you disconnected from God with fear. He knows that fear is the chief enemy of your faith. Fear will freeze you in your tracks and keep you from finishing your assignment. Fear made Israel grumble at the Red Sea. Fear made them freeze before Goliath. Fear made the disciples wake Jesus up and cry, Master, the tempest is raging. Oh, the billow on sourcing high. Fear will destroy your faith. But 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 says, But God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and of sound mind. Hebrews 11 and 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Tell somebody you got to be steadfast. You got to be steadfast. And unmovable. And unmovable. Jesus said, be faithful unto death, and I'll give you a crown. Tell your neighbor, don't give up. Give up. Galatians 6 verse 9 says, let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season, you will reap a harvest if you don't give up. Next is the letter A. A is for available. God has a ministry for all his children. None of us have the same call. But wherever he calls you, you must be available. A whole lot of people will miss heaven, not because God couldn't use them, but because they wouldn't let him. Mm. Samuel said, here I am, Lord. Mary said, whatever you say, Lord. Jesus said, I am about my father's business. And the apostle Paul said, what do you want me to do, Lord? Young people, you're not too young to tell God. If you need somebody, here I am. The old saints say, all oh, to Jesus, I surrender. Somebody shout, I'm available. I'm available. The last letter in F-A-T is T. T is for teachable. You got to be teachable to stay usable. Good. I want you to repeat that to me. You got to be teachable. Got to be teachable. To stay usable. To stay usable. Yeah. Nobody knows everything. You've got to be humble. Nobody likes to know it all. God wants to give you wisdom to help you make the right decision. Pride will mess you up, people of God. Matthew 23 says, He that humbles himself shall be exalted, but he that exalts himself shall be brought low. You got to humble yourself, then ask God for wisdom. James says, if any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God who gives it free. Psalm 119 says, teach me, O Lord, all of your statues, and I'll observe them with my whole heart. David said, thy word have I hidden in my heart, that I might not sin against God. I'm about to get out of the way. But young people, you're the one that God is searching for. It's going to cost you something to carry the name of Jesus, but do not lose your fatness. The enemy is coming against you, but tell God, oh Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. And with thanksgiving, I'll be a living sanctuary for the Lord. Mm -hmm. God told Joshua, thus saith the Lord, be neither afraid nor dismayed, but all that you see, you're going to see a whole lot of stuff. But don't be stressed. Let us not be weary in well doing. It said, the Bible said, let us not be weary in well doing. If you know you've been living holy, if you know you've been reading your Bible, yeah. if you know you've been fasting and praying, and you begin to look at your situations and all of your circumstances, because that's the trick of the devil to get your focus from God with all of your problems. But whatever my lot, yes. thou hast taught me to say, it is well with my soul. 
Tell somebody, don't lose your bet. God is not through using you. Somebody ought to give God the glory in you. Tell somebody, oh, Christ, the son of the rock, God stand. And all of the ground, and all of the ground is shaking sand. Keep your eyes on him, and you cannot be defeated. Don't lose your backs. Stay faithful in the Father. Stay available in the Son. Stay teachable in the Holy yes. Ghost. I say, stay teachable in the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Your eyes are not seen. Your ears are not heard. Neither has it entered in, into the hearts of men. For the things that God prepared for them who love him, the devil is a liar. Greater is he that lives in me than he who lives in the world? Somebody shout, you got greater. 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 You got greater than the Son of you. Yes, sir. Somebody ought to keep giving God the glory. Yes, sir. We are troubled on every side. Yeah. Yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Yeah. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down. Cast down. But not destroyed. Always burned about in the body. The dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. For we which live are always delivered unto death. For mm -hmm. Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. So the death work of us. Yeah. So the death work of us. So the death work of us. But life in you. Say, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go ahead. If that blessed your heart, give him a hand pray virtually. Put up some hearts, some likes, and claps, and show some hands on Zoom because we were fed some good food on today. I thank God for you, Master Hilton Ross III. I appreciate you. I appreciate your parents for molding you in the way of the Lord and for you being a young man to want to hear from God so that you can give what God gives you. God bless you all. We thank you so much. Now, listen, people of God, before we move any further, if you want to be fat and ready to be used of the Lord, you got to be a child of God. If you have not committed your life to Jesus Christ, you can right now. You heard that young man give you what thus saith the Lord. You too have the opportunity to be in a place to give what God has given you. So we need you to take just a moment and think if the Lord was to crack the sky right now and come for his children, am I ready? If the Lord was to say, that's enough, I'm bringing my children home with me. The rapture's coming right now. Are you rapture ready? If you're not rapture ready, I encourage you to pray with me and repeat after me this simple prayer. Father God, in Jesus' name, I'm a sinner and I need to be saved. Lord Jesus, with all that I've done in life, nothing means nothing without you. I repent of all wrongdoings and accept me into your kingdom as your child. And I'll live for you for the rest of my days. In Jesus name, amen. If you pray that prayer and you believe in your heart, listen, you are ready to be fat for the Lord's use. F-A-T, my God. I tell you that young man blessed us on today to be fat, ready for the master's use. 